Welcome back, pricing people. We've got an extra juicy episode for you this week, so prepare your appetites and let's dig in. Wendy's has hit the headlines with the announcement that it plans to test demand-based or dynamic pricing in 2025. This strategy, enabled by innovative digital menu boards that will allow the company to adjust prices on the fly, drew a heated response, with critics roasting it as surge pricing. But Wendy's seared through the criticism, clarifying that this strategy isn't about flipping prices based on demand spikes. Instead, it's a well-seasoned approach of adjusting prices up or down, marinating in broader demand patterns and trends. Spotting an opportunity to grill the competition, Burger King quickly fired up a deal offering a free Whopper through their mobile app for anyone spending over $3, ensuring their promotions are sizzling. Burger prices have long been a global economic indicator, thanks to The Economist's infamous Big Mac index. So it's no surprise that a $24 Five Guys receipt has gone viral and reignited debate about the cost of living. Jerry Murrell, CEO of the premium burger brand, has previously talked openly about the company's pricing strategy and stated that its prices are kept in line with its fluctuating costs. While headline inflation has eased from its peak, food costs remain stubbornly high. In the US, beef is up over 7%, and steak prices have soared over 10% based on data from the latest consumer price index. As volatile input costs continue to cause profitability challenges, it's important to remember that pricing is your secret source. And here at Flint Fox, we have the recipe for success. So that's it for this week, folks. Head over to our blog or tune in again soon when we'll be serving up even more tasty headlines. Until next time, power to you pricing people.